Who this? Yo, what up? Billy Betts' caravan of relief. You hungry? I got what you need. No, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I got that too. What if I'm horny? That there's my buddy Pablo. He's pretty cool, but watch out. He has a laser rifle, and he's not afraid to use it. I have more than a laser rifle. Who are you? I'm a caravaner from the Crimson Caravan. I specialize, however, in peddling food. A lot of people hungry on the roads and in the towns, especially on this frontier, so I feed who I can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For a price. Do you work for the Crimson Caravan, huh? Yep, it's good work, good pay, if I do say so myself. We killed the person who runs it's it. It's dangerous, though, but the feeling of making sure others eat is enough for me. That and the caps I get for selling food. Do you travel by the main roads or by the side trails? All depends, really. Whatever gets me to where I'm going faster. I guess that's why it's kind of dangerous, though. But hey, I love thrills, too, you know. What a riveting conversation. I certainly won't be cutting all of this. Can I see what you're selling? Sure can. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Fucking, uh... <laughs> Mom, I want an Owen gun. Can we have an Owen gun? No, son, we have an Owen gun at home. Owen gun at home. It's not obstructing my vision. <laughs> the magazine isn't vertical. It's not good. I want top feed magazine, goddammit. Give me my Bren guns. Give me my Owen guns. The Give me my World War I Italian submachine gun that technically is an assault rifle, but actually isn't an assault rifle because it's a 9mm. Gravity feed isn't a thing. Ooh. Gravity assisted. Gravity assisted. It's not gravity feed. Shut gravity up. feed is a different thing. Shut gravity up. feed is like a collat pistol, like a, par like a parlor gun. I did make an error the last time I talked about this gun. I said it was a double feed magazine. It's a double stack single feed magazine. That's important. I'm gonna use this World War II submachine gun. Whoa! Watch out for Kazdor's card. <laughs> Everyone's shooting at Kazdor's with overpowered guns. I'm out here with a Sten gun, just like, yeah! Look at me, I'm a commando! <laughs> That's why you're the meat shield. I mean, point man. Okay, it's actually pretty effective. <laughs> oh, dead guy. Not our fault. We did shoot a bunch of things that caused fire in this general direction, though. But he was in Kazador territory, so he was already marked for death. Also, one of the things that I noticed that's wrong about this Sten gun, the bolt should be further back. The bolt in the Sten gun is a little bit longer than that. All right, so if the gun is in this configuration like it is now where the bolt is all the way forward, but you have a loaded magazine in there, you could potentially drop the gun, the bolt could move back far enough to grab a round, chamber the round, and fire it. Because the way these early open bolt submachine guns work is they have a fixed firing pin, which means they don't have a hammer or anything. They just literally have a nub sticking out of the back of the bolt so that once the round is chambered, it just fires it automatically. Huh. There is a safety concern on early submachine guns that when you're carrying it in this configuration with a loaded magazine, but the bolt all the way forward, even with the gun on safe, you could bump it against something hard enough for it to chamber and fire around. Okay. So the reason they put this notch back there is so that you can pull the bolt all the way back and engage it into that notch. So now, other than actually grabbing the bolt and moving it out of that notch to where the bolt will engage the sear, other than doing that, there's no way for the gun to fire. Uh, we got bugs. Not for long. <laughs> I love this. Whoa! Guy. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that was that was some that was some sporting clay shooting. Thank you. Pull! <laughs> Just got stuck in the tree. Oh my god, they move way too fast. It's not okay. I hope you bleed. What if it's a friendly death claw? Hmm. Uh, nope, nope, not friendly. He's coming at us to give us a hug, you know, like you gave Eve. Wow! <laughs> you know where the term the whole nine yards comes from? The whole nine yards, yeah, no. Yeah, whole nine yards. Because during World War II, in any of the bombers, the gunners were issued 50 caliber ammo in nine yard lengths. So when someone said, give them the whole nine yards, that meant empty an entire belt into them. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's where the whole nine yards comes from. Oh. It's not a football thing. Everybody thinks it is, but it isn't. Oh, um, hello, strange woman. I hear the great cons just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. Always thought the NCR and them would fight it out again. You're a great con! You are a great con! 
Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. I've never heard this voice in this game before in my life. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Nobody knows who's going to win, Legion or MCR. Might not make much of a difference round here. Goodness gracious. Does she even have a tiny... She even has a tiny AR-15. Um, oh. Hello. Axeman's not in the mood for playing patty cake with strangers. So get the fuck out of my camp. Axeman. <laughs> Axeman. Uh, hi, Axeman. I never thought I would see you again, ever. Sorry about that. Let's start over. I'm Axeman, and I'm going through a lot of difficult shit right now. <laughs> Maybe I can help. What seems to be the problem, Axeman? I'll give you a hint. I'm Axeman. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Go then. Leave Axeman to his quest. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, bye, Axeman. What the fuck? That's a hatchet. That's not an axe. That's a hatchet. Right, right. Oh, look! They they put a bunch of pinion nuts on top of that bro- Wow, that's actually really nice. You could spice up steaks. Yeah. Yes, Mike. <laughs> you can spice up steaks. What are you, my dad? <laughs> yeah, you can spice up steaks. All right, we're gonna- I, I'll actually talk to him. Axeman is about to put the hospital in hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what? Why don't you stay close to me, Axeman? Axeman is always close, but now he's closer. Oh, goodness. Uh, why don't you keep your distance? More chopping for me, then. Let's discuss other tactics. It's all in the backswing. And the foreswing. Swinging is important for fighting with an axe. I don't see the axes. Your eyeballs are very wise. You see, after a series of very painful events, I've lost my axe. What is an axe man without an axe? I'll tell you. A baby. A little baby that doesn't have an axe. Are you going to help Axeman find it or not? How did you lose it? It all happened two-thirds of a week ago. <laughs> Axeman was out and about, scouting the desert for signs of tasty animals to harvest, like bighorns and soda machines. You... Hmm. He had just spotted a flock of sarsaparilla. One of them was wounded and would make for easy prey. A flock? Axeman leapt into action. But suddenly... A bright, searing light. Thousands of dog whistles howling at his ears. A trap. Axe man. Must have been Archimedes. Sarsaparilla machines aren't really known to ambush people. That's because it wasn't the sarsaparilla. It was something else. Something worse. Nuka-Cola. Zombies. Oh, I think I'm getting a migraine. Axe man only trades bighorn meat. You won't find any of your grain here. Oh, okay. As Axe man was saying... The angry light had put Axeman into an involuntary man sleep, during which <laughs> the zombies dragged Axeman back to their lair. An involuntary man sleep. When Axeman awoke, he was tied to a rock. They'd taken my supplies, my pants, and most importantly, my axe. This next part of the story is very boring, so I'll skip ahead a few days. <laughs> Thank you. Cold, hungry, and with a horsey jaw from gnawing on his bindings for several dozen hours, Axeman was finally able to free himself. But Axeman hated to admit it. He was in no shape to do battle with the zombies. They were too numerous, and he too axeless. So like a greasy gecko, Axeman slipped away into the night, returning to his camp to gather his strength to put on his remaining pants. <laughs> yes. To go back and kill the fuck out of those damn dirty zombies. Okay, well, let's go get your axe. Axe man will now transfer knowledge of the zombie lair to your wrist map. <laughs> hey -ya! What the hell was that? Axe man will join you in this battle, whether you me. want him to or not. Axe man has joined your party, granting you the survival expertise perk. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can handle this. Oh, axe man, I get it. <laughs> Oh, I, boy. I don't know if we can keep making axe puns. Last time, we exhausted our supply. I don't know. I think I need a mattock to dig my way through that axe pun. I don't get it. It's it's like a pickaxe. A mattock is a version of a pickaxe? Yeah. Oh, okay. but a pickaxe isn't an axe. Mike, Axeman has heard all these tired old <laughs> axe puns. We gotta, we gotta branch out a little bit. 
and move into other hand tools that are axe adjacent. All right, let's get out of here. Screwdriver. <laughs> I hate that that joke made me laugh as much as it does. That's so stupid. Let's talk about your tactics. I'm well versed in axe sticks. <laughs> I want you to change the combat style. Axe man is a combat style. Axe man. Let's just switch to a ranged weapon. Got it. Oh, he switches to throwing axes. Oh, all right. I thought he would get really mad, but he switched to throwing axes. <laughs> you can't switch to a melee weapon, though. You ain't got your axe. Let's axe it up. I guess it's a, it's a hatchet. I guess so. it'll work. Do you have an actual gun you could use? I'm Axe Man. But yes, uh, Axe Man does have a rifle he keeps for emergencies. <laughs> Very unlikely emergencies. All right, let's get going. X-Man is with you. All right, well, we got X-Man back. All righty then. I never thought I would see the day when he returned. He actually has. This is kind of nice <laughs> that it's a bathtub with, like, a mirror in front of it. Why do you have a magazine in the... In the so oh. he can read while he's taking a bath, Mike, obviously. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, doing a shave on my face. Oh no, the tales of chivalry fell in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's like a toaster. Right, but it's not electrified, so it didn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. And in, in what way is tales of chivalry like a toaster? Uh, because the conclusion is so shocking. Ah, oh, that was that's good. That's good. That's good. Did you work in marketing? That. Why is there a dead pig order in the garbage? Uh, I don't even know. I do, uh, don't even know. I don't. E also, who is this child? Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see it for miles. I thought this child was somehow related to this, but apparently she's just here. Was there something that I missed in Axeman's previous quest that involved the small child? Axeman has an arranged marriage with a 13-year-old. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not Axeman. You're about to get fucking canceled, my man. Axeman didn't approve. His parents forced him. They're very lax. <laughs> Bubber. You guarding this cave? We're going to go in. Hope you don't mind. The zombies are apparently in this cave. I realize they're going to be ghouls, but whatever. Just because they're terrible people doesn't mean you should use the pejorative on them. That's not even a feral ghoul! That's, I hope that's you bleed. Can you guys not run ahead? Well, I mean, we got two melee companions. What do you think they're gonna do? Valid. I just kind of want to actually shoot stuff. Well, you're gonna have to get to them before they do. Never mind, I don't want to shoot stuff. I don't want to shoot stuff. Why aren't you hitting things? There you go. Now I want to shoot stuff. Teamwork! Good. Something to kill. I was getting hungry. <laughs> you don't want to eat these ghouls. They're disgusting and rotten. Why would they kidnap him and tie him to a rock? You know, we didn't really question that far, did we? Maybe they thought he was a lizard. And they all fall down. Axeman! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were gonna... thought you were gonna say that. Oh, look. Stupid people. Should I be using explosives in the... Mm. I don't think you should be using explosives in this cave, personally. Okay, then I Just won't. Just keep using that modified version of an XM-177. It's... We, why is the... I never realized that the, the rib that's on the, the lower receiver of that is on the wrong side in this game. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, okay, right where your index finger is, that rib that's sticking Don't out... Don't your gun at me! That really bothers me that that light is offset from the door. <laughs> they had to squeeze it in there somehow! It, it really bothered... You could have cut some of the roof out! The Whatever. Cave? Chisel it? Yeah. Chisel. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies here. That's, that's not great. Oh, a, a man's axe. Axe man. Thank you for looting the box. Now, give me. Here you go. Yes. Axe man returns to his full power. Axe man. Axe man. Thank you, friend. Let us return to the overworld. I wish to congratulate you under less smelly circumstances. Sure, let's get out of here. But first, I want to look in this hatch. 
Okay, never mind. I don't want to look in the hatch anymore. Sounds like some zombies came home to a holly jolly clusterfuck. <laughs> there's no other way out of this cave than the way we came in. And by the sound of things, there's a horde of zombie bastards standing between us and the exit. You don't seem too worried about this. <laughs> worried? I have an axe. And I am absolutely soaking in anticipation. Yeah, Axe Mag, you're pretty smelly. Might have to use some Axe Body Spray. Shit, it didn't work, it didn't work. Here we go again. Oh boy, oh boy. Kiss my axe. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of spooky. What was spooky? Uh, he exploded in a blast of green. Oh my, my god. god, that's so many. Yeah, okay, so let's go, Axe Man, go! Axe. Uh... <laughs> axe. Good one. Oh, oh you're good. Here we go again. Oh my god, Becky. Look at the size of her axe. Nothing can stand up to Axe Man's attacks. Chop, chop. Who's there? Axe Man. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Is it because you don't have any foreskin? What? I mean, regular skin. You don't have any skin. Why did you say foreskin? Because <laughs> they don't have that either, technically. There's a lot of ghouls. Who are the surplus of feral ghouls? Hey, I got a delivery of feral ghouls. Where you want me to put them? Yeah, in the back. We've made it out alive. It is thanks to you that I once again wield my birthright. Eve. You have been a friend to Axeman in ways he can't even pronounce, let alone repay. <laughs> well, yes, we made quick work of those ghouls. That's just the facts. Yeah, we make a pretty good team, Axeman. Yeah, like pancakes and sausage, together forming a complete breakfast, <laughs> ready to clog the veins of our enemies. Yes! And that is why I make this proposal. Axeman offers to be your battle buddy. A companion and ally throughout your wild adventures in the wasteland. Ooh. I accept your offer. Yes. Axeman hasn't been this happy since he murdered a cave full of zombies with an axe. That was five seconds ago. Let's go kill something. Yeah, let's go kill some stuff. Axeman is at your service. You defeated those ghouls suspiciously quickly. I call hacks. Oh, uh, are you <laughs> saying we should cut him loose? I didn't, I didn't say that. Maybe we need to bring in a hatchet man to fire him. I don't know if I want to axe him just yet. I've been picking up a radio broadcast from Prim. Mm -hmm. It only happens in the dead of night. Uh, it sounds very odd, very creepy. Might be worth investigating. You know what? If we go to Prim, we could get Axe Man some accessories. Maybe he'll see some action. You didn't even like the accessories pun I made. The accessories? Accessories. What what kind of accessories are you talking about? Accessories. What accessories? Forget it. Like, I understand the pun you're trying to make, but what accessories would he... I don't know! It was just a pun uh, with the word axe in it! Okay, okay, okay. You know why Axe Man has to use an axe? It's because he can't use a gun. Yeah, he, he said that. Well, he can't use a gun because his eyesight is so poor. He's got astigmatism! That was a huge stretch. <laughs> I will not give that one to you. <laughs> Mike has brought up some concerns. Not me. Mike has brought up some concerns that we might face situations where axes don't cut it. How about Axeman shows you exactly what his axes can and cannot cut? Axeman. <laughs>